Hi, I'm Sam, and I'm a data architect at Panoply. I'd like to show you how you can set up a smart, automated cloud data warehouse on your own in just a few minutes. But first, let me quickly explain to you why you need a cloud data warehouse. Imagine your role requires you to provide insights from different departments like sales, support, finance, e-commerce retail, or marketing. Your data exists in a wide variety of places and is critical to business decisions for people across different lines of business. So how do you bring together all of this data into one central place where you can access, analyze, and then formulate useful insights and visuals? That's where Panoply comes in. Panoply is the world's first smart cloud data warehouse. With a few simple clicks, you can bring in all of your data into a fully optimized data warehouse environment. Panoply handles all of the setup, management, and ongoing optimization of your data. Our solution collects and transforms your data, making it immediately ready for querying, while also seamlessly connecting to any BI tool you use to analyze and visualize your data. And it's all done in one place, with no database administration required. These are a few of the data sources that are commonly used. With a few simple clicks, Panoply brings in data from over 100 different data source connectors, including those for sales, CRM, marketing analytics, payments platforms, and product analytics, to name a few. Once you've ingested data, our AI technology creates, monitors, and automatically optimizes your data so you don't have to worry about the complexities of data warehouse management or maintenance. You can just focus on the analytics and book the reporting. I'll go through how to add any and all of your data sources into Panoply and show you how your data is automatically rendered into tables for immediate querying. And lastly, I'll show you how to connect to your BI visualization tools like Chartio, Tableau, and Looker. Panoply brings your organization's data into one central place. Once you've logged into Panoply for the first time, you'll have access to over 100 pre-built data source pipelines, including the most common APIs and databases. To get started, simply click Add Data Source. We've separated our data sources into three logical buckets of APIs, databases, and files and services. Today I'm going to take you through how to load in some Google Analytics data. To begin, we first need to authenticate on the source side with Google. So once I've authenticated, I have access to all my underlying data objects on the source side at Google. And this data will be represented as metrics and dimensions with the Google Analytics data source. And once I've selected the metrics and dimensions that I want to bring in, I select how far back I want to pull this data, and then click Collect. In addition to loading the data in, I probably want to set up some sort of a refresh schedule so that the data will refresh either on a daily, monthly, weekly basis, and in this case I can refresh as often as every day up to the hour. So in addition to the data pipelines that Panoply has built out, Panoply also supports data pipelines that some of our partners have built out. And here's a quick look at some of those additional data sources that we offer. And it looks like our data is ready to view. So with just a few easy clicks, Panoply has ingested the data, modeled the data, and now can present it in a way that you can access it very easily within your business intelligence tool or query it directly from the Panoply platform. That's what I'm going to show you how to do next. Once your data is brought into Panoply, you can begin querying and transforming data in real time. You'll see that Panoply has already built out the logical tables and subtables from the data source endpoints that we collected earlier. On the top here, we'll see a quick preview of the data that we brought in. And if you want to explore your data more, you can use our built-in SQL Workbench, which provides full access to all functions like joining and dropping tables, as well as creating views that you may be familiar with from Redshift or other databases. You'll see at the top here that you can run simple queries like the select star statement that I wrote up here, or we can run more advanced queries that we save as what we call views. Herein lies the value of Panoply's automated data collection and transformation process is known as ELT, Extraction, Loading, and Transformation. Instead of transforming your data preload, you save time by bringing all of your data in and then transforming it with saved queries that are called views. 
A view is a result set that is saved as a table, and Panoply automatically refreshes these views each time that any of these underlying data values are refreshed. Panoply's Smart AI benchmarks this query performance, and the more that you use it, the faster that it gets. We optimize our performance through a process that's called query materialization, or basically saving the most computationally heavy aspects of your queries to disk so that you don't spend time waiting for your queries to run. Now that we've shown you how the data comes into our data warehouse, let's take a look at how we add in a business intelligence tool. Panoply is built to work with a host of different third-party tools, including business intelligence platforms like Chartio, Tableau, and Looker. We also work with third-party SQL workbenches like SQL Workbench J and DataGrip. Each of these tools uses a standard port or pipeline that's common to Redshift, and you'll also use your Panoply credentials to connect in. Down here you'll see a list of connection details. These can be accessed from the tables menu. You may also access these connection details by clicking connect on the left hand side here. We're going to use these standard details to connect into one of our partners, Chartio. As you'll see, these same details of port, username, password, database name, and then data source alias, which is a made up name that we add so it's easier to access and find the data warehouse once it's in Chartio. And that's all we need. We simply enter in these connection details and click connect. At this point, we're off to the races. We've now created a bridge between Panoply and Chartio so you can begin accessing your data and visualizing it using the Chartio platform. So now that we've connected in our data warehouse, which is named Sam's Data Warehouse, we can see the list of metrics and dimensions that we originally brought over in our Panoply data warehouse. So from here, I've pulled out a few of these metrics and dimensions that I want to look at a little bit closer. And I put together a very lightweight graph here that looks at the total amount of new users that have accessed our website in the last month versus those that are returning or people that have already seen our content. This just helps me further break out how well my content is doing with specific countries that I'm targeting some ad spend and some of my advertising resources on. Panoply is specifically built as a simple self-service data warehouse, but we also offer expert customer support, like in-product chat, a friendly community forum, and we even offer a data architect if you need one. So in just a few minutes, we have taken you from data zero to data insights. Using the power of Panoply, anyone can instantly ingest, model, transform, and connect to a visualization tool in just minutes on their own without the help of IT or engineering and hours of coding. And remember, Panoply is the only all-in-one data stack solution with built-in ETL, automated data transformation, query and storage optimization, and spell for anyone under one predictable subscription per month. So go ahead and try for yourself by setting up your own database with a free 21-day trial by going to www.panoply.io or sign up for a customized demo.